So today's objective is the chorus will explain the benefits of starting any vocal practice with appoggio by listing the relevant body parts that are engaged in singing and how they are used after viewing illustrations. So this is a really big word, appoggio, and really the definition of appoggio is a technique whereby singers slow the rise of the diaphragm by actively controlling the intercostals and ab abdominal muscles that act upon it. So here's another big word, intercostals, and that's just your back muscles. So appoggio um, is basically your breath control. So we're going to be talking about what important muscles we're using for the breath control. Again, it's going to be our intercostals, or our back muscles and our abs. Um, so why is it important that we have um, great breathing? It's just, it's really crucial to our singing um, because singing is based on breath. If you're not breathing properly, you're not singing properly. You could potentially ruin your singing voice permanently if you don't have good breath control. Um, proper breathing is actually gonna help your stability of your singing tone, and um, incorrect breath control can make your throat hurt and feel tight when singing. So that's when you know that you don't have really good um, breathing uh, practices is when your uh, throat starts to hurt and when you feel strained and tight. And without the diaphragm um, and the surrounding muscles, air can neither enter nor exit the lungs. And there are actually 36 muscles that are used in supporting breath control. What are these two muscles in charge of? Well, the intercostals are in charge of controlling your inhalation, and your abs are in control of exhalation. So here we have a picture of a diaphragm, and it's shaped just like a parachute. And your diaphragm is attached to your lungs. So when you breathe in, actually your diaphragm goes down and your lungs go out, I mean your ribs go out. Um, and here's another picture of that. So breathing in, ribs go out, the diaphragm goes down. But when you exhale, then your ribs will go back in and your diaphragm will relax. That's normally what happens when, you, when you're breathing. But when we're singing, we actually want to try to keep our lungs expanded and our sternum raised. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through some examples of what that looks like. Um, when we breathe for singing, we actually need to use more energy and more stamina because we're having to control and coordinate with the diaphragm. Um, our abs and our back are used to support those muscles of the diaphragm. So we have to control the rise, the rise and the fall of the diaphragmatic muscle. So Jerry's going to help us here be our model. Okay, thank you, Vanna. Face the back. Okay, so when we're talking about the intercostal muscles, these back muscles, we want to see them go out this way. Okay, so Jerry's going to take a breath in, and you can feel him put. I can feel him pushing against my hands. Go ahead and breathe out. Okay, do that again. Breathe in. Okay, and then relax. Nice. So you can see that motion of in and out is what we're looking for. Okay, and you want to face the front. And then your abdominal muscles are really important. So when we're talking about where the diaphragm is, a lot of us think that it's down here because you'll hear a lot of people say, well, take a, a, a belly breath or a diaphragmatic breath and they're breathing from down here. But really, your diaphragm is right here. So this is the area that we want to look at. So above the belly button and right below the sternum is the focus that we want to have. So as you're breathing in, you're going to expand here and then breathe out, and that's where focus is going to be. Now the goal always is to keep the sternum and the chest raised. So go ahead and raise your arms. And that feeling of everything being lifted, we're going to keep that and slowly bring your arms down. And I can see everything is raised. So we're going to have a nice, strong, proud posture. 
Okay, so as we're um, working on increasing our breath control, there are some warm-ups that you can do. And we always want to warm up the breathing before we um, <laughs> start to vocalize um, with our singing, okay? But we're always going to use, you know, the singing voice. So starting on a comfortable note for you, I want you to sing a scale with your numbers ascending and descending and let's just see where you might run out of air okay one two three four five six seven eight seven six five four three two one okay two. well you're an expect you're you're an uh, expert so <laughs> obviously <laughs> you can sing ascending and descending try that one more time and um i like how you were continuing to go just keep going until you run out of air one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so right at about seven, on that third time through, you ran out of air. Um, was that the third time? Yeah. yeah, third time too. Okay, superstar. So as you're increasing your breath control, you're going to try to go past that, okay? So how about just a steady note on an ah, okay? And then I'll count as you're singing. Ready? Go. One, two, three. So right at about 19. So your goal the next time is to go past 19, okay? So you're controlling the rate at which your diaphragm is raising back up by using your abs, okay? Your, abdo your abdominals are going to control all of that, okay? You ready? One, two, three. in order to use your abs to control your diaphragm? Do it twice. <laughs> well, you're going to have to do some sit-ups, right, to strengthen your core. Those always help, okay? So any kind of exercises that strengthen the core is going to actually help you control your breathing, okay? And then your back muscles as well, right? Your lats and everything are controlling your inhalation and making sure that you get enough space in there for the air to come in. But let's talk about the lungs because you need the lungs to store the air. So we definitely want to avoid smoking or even secondhand smoke because that's going to impede your, your breathing. All right? So once again, we're just going to quickly review. Working on the apagio, and the apagio is just basically the... Um, where we use the diaphragm to control the intercostals and the abdominal muscles, which are your back and your abs. Your intercostals control your inhalation and your abs control your exhalation. Always start your practicing at home with your breathing exercises so that you can sing with beautiful tone, good support through the phrases and with a relaxed tone. Okay, that's your homework for this week. Have a good one. No, no, no.